What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the brand new player of the month and it is going to be Bruno Fernandes. Now this card, what a card it is obviously, but it is worth a decent amount of coins. One million coins, without a doubt right, he deserved the player of the month. But one million coins for an untradeable Bruno Fernandes that only has some stats that are slightly better than obviously the team of the group stage card. What I mean by that is he's only got a plus one pace, plus two shooting, plus one passing, plus one dribbling, plus one defending, and a plus two to physicals as well. Yeah, not the biggest of difference, but the team of the group stage card is obviously tradable, and it's going for around 750k on Xbox, and this card is going for 1 million coins. So the real question is, is it going to be worth it? That is the question I will be answering today. Now, today is going to be a bit different, okay? So I couldn't afford Bruno Fernandes playing a month on my main account. So what I've done is, I've done it on my Road to Glory account. Um, if some of you may know, my Ro Road to Glory account is stacked. Mbappe, CR7, you got Neymar, you got Jean-Felix Carrasco, Lorente, Rashford, Wilfred to hide out we just got. It's an amazing team of out and out, but Bruno Fernandes just adds on to it, if you know what I mean. 5 foot 10 as a cam, shouldn't be a problem. High, high work rates, shouldn't be that much of a problem, but we've all used Bruno Fernandes in the past. We all used, you know, he's in form, he's second in form and all of that. And we know for a fact, he is a very, very aggressive cam. To the point where he will act like he's a second striker in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Now he has got 4-star skill moves and a 4-star weak foot, which I'm never going to complain about. Now when it comes down to pace, 92 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. The guy is fast. We all know that for a fact. The guy is fast with the Hunter Chem style. Now obviously you can really use a Shadow Chem style on this card if you want to. And he would be a really, really good centre mid. The only thing I can say, him being a centre mid, is the fact that he will be very aggressive. He will be making those runs. Even though you have stay back while attacking instruction, he will still, you know, start to make those little runs, then come back on defence. And he's going to need a lot of stamina, which you clearly can see this guy has no... 99 stamina i believe this is the first card this year that actually has 99 stamina shooting wise he's got 96 attacking positioning 94 finishing with the 99 shot power and he does have the outside foot shot trait which is something i'm always gonna love but i wish i honestly wished this guy had finesse shot trait because my god that 98 long shots with that 99 shot power would have been insane he's got 99 volleys with the 99 penalties as well passing ability looks insane 94 vision 91 crossing 91 freaky accuracy 92 short passing 91 long passing and 90 curve dribbling ability this is where it gets into a tough situation now i have obviously used bruno fernandez in the past and he's been pretty good at dribbling right he's been you know very comfortable in the ball and all of that and i've always used a hunter chem style no matter what so i feel like the 85 agility the 85 balance, 92 reaction, 94 ball control, 91 dribbling with the 92 composure should be enough. Now, if we look at the defending stats, as I said, if you want to play him in a CDM position, go ahead. Just make sure to give him a shadow chem style. He's got 79 interceptions, 77 defensive awareness, 72 stand tackling, 59 slide tackling. And moving over to the physicals, he's got 78 jumping, 99 stamina, 71 strength with a 76 aggression as well. Now, as you clearly can see by the team, it's pretty good. Wilfred Sahar, Rashford and Fred with the cheeky CR7 next to him. Mbappe, Mendy, Varane and Jimenez is also in this team. I will be playing Bruno Fernandes and this in a 4-2-3-1 obviously in that cam position but i do want to try him in that center mid position just to see his movement so i will try him in a 4-4-2 as well but let's get into the games bruno fernandez come on use that pace keep going little ball roll in a few step overs ball roll oh my god look at that dribbling yeah you don't definitely do not need an engine chem style once again there's really no point if he feels that good of a hunter chem style you might as well give him the hunter chem style Bruno Fernandes running down the line. Little fake shot round to Furlan Mendy. Can he keep going? He can. Look at that strength, by the way. Give it to Rashford. Fake shot. Go for that power shot towards in the post. And we are going to get a goal. What a goal. The fact that Bruno Fernandes could obviously get around that corner by using, obviously, the strength and his aggression and all of that was outstanding. The fact that he got past Furlan Mendy, though, is outrageous because we all know how hard it is to get past Mendy this year. Bruno Fernandes. Gonna switch the play all the way over to Marcus Rashford. The thing is, right, he can do that with any of his cards. He can do that literally with his gold card. So that is not really impressive for obviously the play of the month. It's just the fact that he can always, always do it. Mbappe, Bruno, you can actually see he's positioning, boys. Like, look how aggressive. Oh, come on. I'll oh, stop it. Oh, oh, he missed it with the four-star weak foot. Really? Like, with his kind of finishing and his shot power and all of that, I kind of expect that to go in. Ronaldo. 
to Bruno Fernandes. I like how Bruno Fernandes actually realised that I did actually cut back there. I'm going to go for a finesse shot. Ooh, if that went in, ooh, that would have been clean. Let's just say that. Over to Bruno. I'm going to go for a flick. A little flick over him. Go for the volley. Ah, I was testing it out, you know. You have to test out the player to see what he can actually do. With him having, obviously, the 99 long shots and really, really high volleys, I was like, why not? Let's try it. Let's see if it obviously goes towards that top bin. Lorente. Over to Bruno. Little dummy. Ball roll. A few step overs. Fake shot. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, one dribbling. Oh, my God. Look at the footwork, boys. Look at the footwork. Go for that cross goal finish. He's weaker foot is giving me problems right now i feel like with those kind of tough angles only five star weak foot you know kind of go in which is always going to be annoying because for me that's still like a decent situation to score the goal bruno fernandez take shot oh come on now couldn't they wait he doesn't couldn't they doesn't know where i'm gonna go that's the funny thing he doesn't know where i'm gonna go and i can just hit a bank you know a cheeky long shot just like that and it's gonna go in this guy is an absolute joke. I honestly love Bruno Fernandes this year because he's such a good camp. He feels amazing on the ball. He can bang a long shot. He can pass the ball like he is a god. He's got really, really good pace with the right chem style. Like, what can this man not do? That's the real question. Boys, we have a free kick from 30 yards out. He's moved the keeper, but it looks like he's moved it a bit too far over. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for it. Why not at the end of the day? Let's see. If it is, it's going to be yellow timed and I should have green timed it. Because if I green time it and I feel like I didn't put a lot of power into it either. And if I did, maybe, just maybe, it would have gone in. Mbappe down the line. Bruno Fernandes is already up there. Keep going. Pass to there. One more pass. Going to go back down. Going to go for that open shot. And a four-star weak foot misses again. Boys, that's open shots. I'm talking about literal open shots where it needs to go in no matter what. But that four-star weak foot in this game especially has let me down in so many occasions. Bruno, switch a play all the way over to CR7. Once again, really good pass. Come on, let's go. Look at Bruno's, by the way. Look how fast he is straight back in the midfield. I want to see if he cuts back here. No, this is what I mean. Him being a very aggressive cam, he's always going to run into the box no matter what. Mbappe. Over to Bruno. Nice touch. Good fake shot. Good finish as well. I was waiting. I needed to make sure that one actually went in because if that one doesn't go in, I really, really don't know what to say because I'm having, you know, a bit of nerves inside that box now, especially with his weaker foot. But luckily, he took that with his stronger foot. Bruno Fernandes. Keep going, boys. Keep going. Fake sure on the corner. Four star weak foot. Okay, I'll allow that one because he was falling over to be fair to him. But I'm having no luck with that weaker foot and it's so, so annoying to see. Nice. Nice. Oh, come on. Double ball roll. Referee, I need a foul. I wanted a double ball roll to get past Kunde and kind of avoid the AI block. But for some reason, he got bumped in the way. So in a 4-4-2, playing him in a centre mid position, you can actually see him right here. He's sticking, his, he's sticking into his position, which is really, really good with that stay back while attacking instruction. But do you see right there before I lost the ball, he was about to run up and kind of help me in a way. Now, obviously, you can get caught off really, really quickly if he does that very often, where you're going to get counterattacked and all of a sudden you're going to be losing a centre mid. So you have to be careful, obviously, but he can play in the centre mid position if you really want him to. So it is time to review him. Two games played, one goal scored with a zero assist as well. I'm pretty sure I scored two goals, but it is what it is. I thought I would have scored way, way more goals. But do you see that weaker foot? I did not have that problem with his 89. I didn't review his 90, but I did not have a problem with his 89 overall at all. I didn't see anything bad with his weaker foot, but for some reason, this card's weaker foot just wanted to miss pretty much everything. But I feel like it was one of those days. I feel like it was one of those games where he was just missing everything with his left, with his right. Nothing really, really went in. And you know how FIFA is, right? Time to time, you're going to have those games where nothing goes in. And I believe that's the games I had. Either way, he's an amazing amazing player pace shooting passing dribbling physicals he's literally got it all he's got everything you want but the real question is is he worth the 1 million coins to put into an SBC to get an untradeable player no I do not think so the reason I say that is because team of the group stage card is going for around 700k and, and those two or aka this one and the team of the group stage 
has very, very similar stats. And the team of the group stage is tradable. If you, if a better version of Bruno Fernandes comes out with these kind of performances for Manchester United right now, I can definitely see this guy getting at least two more informs. So yeah, I would not do this play in a month because I don't feel like it's worth putting 1 million coins into an SBC card that you most likely know he's going to get way more in forms. And obviously it's going to be like a 92, a 91, or even maybe a 93. That's where he would get up to. So yeah, don't do the SBC. Without a doubt though, he is an amazing player. Now if we're moving over to the stats, I'm obviously going to give him better stats than his 89 overall. That's without a doubt. But how much higher is it going to be? That's the real question. Pace-wise, I am going to give his pace a 9 out of 10. This guy is insanely fast. His fake shots around the corners. You saw this guy outpace Furlan Mendy. You already know for how fast Furlan Mendy is this year. And I've had that Bruno Fernandes with a Hunter Kem style is outpacing him. It's kind of interesting. Let me just tell you that. Shooting-wise, now I gave his 89 overall a 9 out of 10 for shooting. And in this video, you can obviously see I, I struggled. Without a doubt, I did struggle. But I'm going to keep it the same. I'm going to keep it a 9 out of 10. Because for me personally, I feel like it was one of those games where nothing was going into the back of the net. I could literally had like 100 shots and it would still be the same score. So yeah. Just keep a 9 out of 10, simply because I know he's a really, really good shooter of out and out. I just know he was an off day. Passing ability. I'm going to give this guy's passing a 10 out of 10. The thing is, right, he can do it with both feet, and he can literally do it perfect every single time. So if you are struggling, or if you like your cam or your center mid with passing, obviously Bruno Fernandes will be perfect for you. Dribbling ability. I am going to give his dribbling... I would say an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Really agile. Even though it says only 85 agility, I do not believe that is true. This feel, this guy feels way, way better on the ball. It is crazy than 85 agility. It's just no way that is a thing. Moving over to defending. I'm going to give his defending. I didn't play him in the centre mid or CDM position a lot. I did play him in the centre mid position just to see his attacking positioning and just to see if he makes those aggressive runs, which he still did. But when he went in for tackles, I did notice a pretty decent tackle. And I know for a fact, with obviously the shadow chem style, it would be better. But defending, I am going to give him, I would say like a 7.5 out of 10. Physicals. Now, when he comes down to physicals, it's a tough one because... The stamina is insane. Without a doubt, right? The stamina is literally the best it can be. It's a 99, for God's sake. Strength and aggression. I did see it come into play a fair amount of times. But you know for a fact, if you get this guy into a situation against Virgil van Dijk or Varane, he's not going to win it. So I can't give him an extremely high physical rating, but I'll give, a, give him like a, a 7.9 slash 8 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, for this card especially, I am going to give him a 9.2 out of 10. Once again, do not get this card. Just go ahead and get the team of the group stage card. It's simple as that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.